Quite often in games, you hear that the destroyer didn't do his job, he didn't spot, he didn't capture any bases, that's why we lost. So, here are five simple tips on how to be an effective destroyer captain. First things first, know your boat. Whether you've got extra speed and fairly good guns, but no smoke and fairly low armor, or you've got fairly effective anti-aircraft guns and uh, okay guns and kind of lacking in the torpedoes but you get smoke to hide in if needed or whether you're just a full-on torpedo boat get out there dump your torps dump your smoke and get back to staying alive now that you've chosen your destroyer and before the game has started choose the size of your minimap whether it be extra large or I think that's normal, so I normally run just a little bit above normal. Whilst you've got that open, you might want to check your detectability by sea and detectability by air. Making a, a good note of the range of your AA guns. Now, I've got some fairly large AA guns here, which means to hide from an aircraft carrier, I will need to turn those off by pressing the P key. Oh, that turned them back on. Turning your AA guns off, you will have that icon in the bottom of your screen. As a destroyer, you are faster than a lot of the other boats, so you will be required to take and hold the capture points at the beginning of the match if you are able to. If things are too hot and heavy, pull back and do the, do the lighting up so your teammates, when they arrive, can do some damage. And bonus fact, if you do find yourself on the cap and sitting in a smoke to get the last of it, remember, never sit broadside, always sit facing the enemy, just in case someone gets a sneaky torpedo your way. As a good enemy commander, you will be required to light up the enemy destroyer and take him down with your guns and the help of your team. And when you're finished taking down the enemy destroyer, you want to go find that aircraft carrier, as well as lighting up other ships along the way, helping your team out and getting as much damage as possible. But once that enemy aircraft carrier is out of the sky, then you won't need to worry about uh, about hiding so much. That's my top five tips on how to be a better destroyer captain. If you disagree with anything I have to say, feel free, leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, leave it a like if you liked it, and I will catch you next time.